Viewer's discretion. Before getting into today's video, please note that the animals seen here possess medically significant venom and should not be kept by the novice hobbyist. Attempts to replicate the action seen here or to own these animals should be considered thoroughly before doing so. I have many years of experience keeping arachnids with medically significant stings and bites, and while I'm excited to show you guys these beautiful animals, the last thing I'd want is for you to run out afterwards and purchase one without knowing the responsibility and risks involved. Please do your research and please exercise caution. Never handle these animals. Thank you. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. In today's video, we are going to be rehousing a bunch of my desert species scorpions. Now, before we get too into today's video, I want to re-emphasize that these animals possess medically significant venom and should not be kept by the novice keeper. I strongly recommend that there are several other species that are a lot safer to keep for the individual seeking to start keeping scorpions. If you've never owned scorpions, you should be looking for scorpions like the Heterometris genus, you know, those Asian forest scorpions. Uh, your emperor scorpions, which are a lot trickier to find now that they've been CITES listed. Look for captive bred heterometris. They're a great starting point. Uh, you know, your desert hairy scorpions even. Try to find something like that. Scorpions demand a lot of respect, and unfortunately one of the attributes of the more potent species is that they're very fast and the combination of speed and potent venom is not something you want to be tangoing with if you've never kept scorpions before. I have several years of experience keeping scorpions, well in fact over a decade, these over two years. So I'm very careful and it's not to say that if you have no experience with scorpions you shouldn't be keeping them, but for my recommendation you need to be at least 18 years of age keeping these animals. You need to exercise maturity and responsibility and you need to use safety measures when keeping them. Never let your guard down. Just don't let yourself get comfortable. Treat the animals like it's the first time you're interacting with them every time so that you're always careful and cautious keeping these animals. That all being said, <laughs> Scorpions can be some of the most rewarding arachnids to keep. They're absolutely beautiful, they're elegant, they're colorful, and watching them eat is so interesting. Now, in today's video, we're going to be rehousing most of my desert species scorpions because in the last month, I've literally had almost all of them molt and they no longer fit in the original containers they came in. Yeah, for simplicity's sake, a lot of people keep them in deli cups, but for the reason of them having grown, they are now large enough that they might be able to get spooked and climb over the edge of the deli cup, and we cannot have that with the genera presented below. It's not safe, and also for the animal's sake, we're gonna be rehousing them. So I have a bunch of bins here beside me that we're gonna be moving the animals into. We're also going to be trying out the new Exoterra substrate here. I've heard great things from other scorpion hobbyists. They love the texture and the natural look of this substrate and it does allow the animals to do a bit of digging and burrowing. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased the sand myself. I just want to give it a try and see how the animals like it, see how they look on it. So we're gonna go ahead, take a look at the animals here and just have some fun. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing down below and dinging the notification bell afterwards. I make videos every Tuesday and Friday pertaining to the topic of keeping specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and as you see here, really cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely consider sticking around. For today's question of the day, I would like to ask you guys, how do you feel about keeping venomous pets? Now, that can be a broad statement. We could be talking about anything from anemones to tarantulas, and we would talk about fish, and of course the scorpions you see here. So I'd like to know. Let me know in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll give your comment a heart, and we'll engage in a bit of a conversation. Awesome. All right guys, so we're gonna go through how I rehouse these scorpions into these amazingly nice looking enclosures. But before we do that, I wanna feed everybody now that they're in their new homes. So let's go ahead and start the video off with the feeding and then we'll show how we rehouse these animals. So this here is a tiny little female Hottentata Hottentata. This is a really cool scorpion. So let's go ahead and offer her a cricket. All right, here we go. She's 
She got it. Let's see if she stings it. There we go. Nice. Very cool. All right, next up, we're going to offer cricket to this male Androctinus leovelli. Let's see. Don't miss it. It's going to happen fast. Uh, <laughs> that was sad. What were you thinking, Jiminy? What were you thinking? All right, so the next scorpion we're going to feed here is my beautiful female Hottentata Jayakari. Let's see what this animal makes of this cricket. Oh! Wow. Sting and toss and catch. It's like a hat trick. That was epic. Okay, friends, so these are my scorpions. The majority of them are from Tarantula, Canada. Shout out to Martin and Amanda. You guys are amazing. This is a female Hottentata Jayakari. A beautiful scorpion species, not to be messed around with. Definitely need to respect that animal, of course. Here is my male. Now here is one of my favorites. These are the Hottentata Franz Wernerai, and they are part of the same genus as the Jayakari as we just saw, but they have just incredible coloration. If you see there, they have these beautiful yellow legs, and the pedipulps or pincers there also exhibit that same coloration, and they're just jet black. And honestly, I know a lot of scorpions that come to mind are that color, but it's just so beautiful. You can't go wrong with a black animal. They're so elegant, and they just look amazing. Now here, the animal's gone into hiding, but we'll get a good look at them. This is my female Europlectes fisheri. They are a uh, member of the Buthidae family. They are very tiny. You can see the molt there, and they're very colorful. Over here, we have a Hottentata Hottentata, also a member of the Hottentata genus. This specimen here is from my dear friend Anne. This is a female, and these species are actually parthenogenic, which means that they reproduce asexually. So this female, when adult, is capable of producing broods on her own, which is super interesting. As you can see, Anne provided a little red label that shows or signifies the medical significance of the animal. Now, here we have some Androctinus, which are one of my favorite scorpion genera. Uh, this is the Androctinus leovelli. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I will have the Latin names written out. This is my male. Now these are not mature animals. None of the ones you've seen are adults yet, um, but this is a stunning species of fat tail scorpion. You can see the animal has a really nice tail, like it just looks armored. And below we have a female. Now I need to be very calm with her, and I have moved them before to film time lapses, but this female is actually in the process of molting. So I really wasn't kidding when I told you guys that all my scorpions are molting lately. Look at this. This is another really cool species of Androctinus. This is an Androctinus buchicalis. I'm probably saying that wrong as well, but it has this beautiful tan sort of caramel color to it. It is a very dusty animal right now. I'm pretty eager for this little lady to molt. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like once it's molted, um, but also one of my favorite Androctonus species. So yeah, those are the scorpions we're gonna be rehousing today. All right guys, so I think the first thing what we're gonna do here is fill up our containers with that sand substrate. So I'm gonna lay these out, get our, get our Exoterra stone desert substrate ready, and then we're just gonna pour some into the containers. Oh wow, I love the look of that. That looks super nice. This looks awesome. I absolutely love the texture of this already. I gotta say, it looks sick. All right guys, so now we're gonna use some of this sandstone to just give them more, I guess, rocky outcrops to sit on, hide under and such. So let's go ahead and do that now.
All right guys, so here we go. We have a bunch of enclosures set up here for the animals. I would say they look phenomenal. Really excited to get them in here. So let's go ahead here and start and get a scorpion into its new home. We are going to be using a paintbrush to coax the animal into the container. So let's go ahead now and do that. We'll start with a female Hottentata Franz Wernerei. So first thing we're going to do here is gently remove the lid on the container. And using a pair of tweezers, never our hands, we're going to tilt it gently until we can coax the animal into the new container. Just like that. Then we pull this out completely and we're good. We're going to ID this female right away. Make sure you place your label on the side of the container, not on the lid, because it's very easy to mix up lids and then you're screwed, right? So, well, they seem pretty happy already. Lots more room there. Okay, next we're gonna do the male. Same thing. We're going to lower the container in. Lid comes off. And we're just gently gonna coax him out of the container. See how fast he moved there? To be really careful with that. All right, guys, the next animal we're going to rehouse is my male Androctonus Leobelli. I just pop the lid, going in with the tongs now to remove the lid completely. It's already a bit defensive, that's okay. I'm gonna gently tilt the lid like so. All right. There we go. There you go. There you go. Go ahead. See, they're defensive. You do have to be careful. And perfect. All right. Next, we're going to do my female, Hottentata Jayakari. Now, this female is kind of crazy, so we're going to be extra careful with her. Let's go ahead here. Gently tilt the enclosure. Like so. Okay, madam, go ahead. There we go. Perfect. Now she is in her new enclosure. Let's get a lid on there right away. And there we go. Next, we're going to do the male Hottentata Jayakari. Now, if the container that we were rehousing into was any smaller, it, let's say it couldn't fit this container in it safely like this, we would have this whole rehousing taking place in another bin. Like, you know, there'd be a, a larger bin here as a safety. So if the animal somehow were to fall out sideways into the new container, it wouldn't scurry off the table or pose a very serious risk to us. So the reason why this is fine is the scorpions are not capable of climbing the plastic and they're already contained within their home while we are doing the rehousing. You're okay, go ahead. There we go, perfect. So just because it is so small, I really see no reason to rehouse the Europlectes fisheri female. So we're gonna leave it in this container for now. All right, so the next scorpion I'd like to rehouse is the Androctonus buchicalis. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the lids. It's a really tall container. And I actually forgot that I think there is some sandstone in here. Yes, there is. Oh, feisty. Spicy little friend. Tilt that container a bit and let them climb out. And there we go. Now that last scorpion that we had to rehouse is the Androctonus Leo Valley female, but she is not ready to be housed. Obviously she's in the middle of a molt. So we'll do that at another date and I'll give you guys an update next time we do a scorpion video or maybe like on one of my social media pages. Well guys, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's video. We've got to rehouse all these amazing animals. Started off with a nice feeding video too. Yeah, it's just a cool thing to get to show you guys. I know I don't post too many videos about these animals, but I think it's really cool to get to see them once in a while. So let me know what you thought. Did you enjoy seeing the scorpions? 
let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more content pertaining to these fascinating critters, here's the scorpion playlist up above so you can check out more content about them. Well guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. See you on Friday.